hi friends. I'm almost forgetting what day of the week it is. We've been home so long. And I'm like a little bit of a fog anyways because I'm just coming out of having a really bad headache this morning. I made it to homeschool before it really got bad, so winning there. But I'm getting ready. I'm trying to get out of this mental fog. So if you know me, you know that I love speaking in quotes and passages. I don't think like in words, I think like in pictures and emotions. So for me, sometimes it's easiest to, like I obsessively write down and mark things I've heard, quotes, parts from books, because like I have a hard time finding those words. And so I find um, using other people's words, like it's a little bit easier for me. Does that make sense? So I thought I would come on here live and getting ready anyways and sitting down and why not like sit down and be productive for more than just myself with getting my makeup on. Um, so if you don't follow, number one, let me just slow my roll, back it up. You gotta follow Jesse Itzler. He has been having so much fun. It's like the dumbest fun, but uh, <laughs> with Zoom, because there's so many people using it, it's constantly crashing. So he's just been having a ball doing this Zoom sucker where um, he, that you like, you just pretend like your Zoom froze or your Zoom muted or your Zoom slow-mo, which today during my daughter's class happened constantly. Um, and so then everyone's like Zoom suckering him back and then he plays them. It's just like, the dumbest fun ever, but um, I don't know, right? You just need anything that lasts. So anyways, follow Jesse. But I also follow Jim Quick. Jim Quick was who I hired. I hired, does that make it sound so fancy? I paid for his reading class, um, speed reading class. And it was probably one of the best classes I've taken. Honestly, it makes me mad about the way we do school when I take his courses. Um, and Jim is like, to me, like one of those unsung heroes in the background. You see all these like, Rachel Hollis's and Tony Robbins and all of them up front and um, I'm not saying he's worked with her but behind a lot of those personal development people and actors and actresses and um, CEOs is Jim teaching strategies on how to learn and he has like two big classes that he teaches with uh, memory and speed reading so I tripled my speed reading score this summer. I'm sure it's kind of gone down because you really have to, it's a skill. So you um, have practices you need to do. But I've been doing his challenge a book a week and it's totally doable. Um, anyways, so he was on do, uh, doing a live yesterday. He has a book coming out and he talked about this quote that he's putting in his book that goes, I don't know who says it, something to the effect of life is lived in the C between the B and the D. And maybe you'll be a lot faster picking this up than I was, but I did not get it at face value. And then um, B is birth and D is death. And I'm still thinking like C, like water, like the ocean sea. And that's not what it is. It's your choices. Life is an accumulation of your choices between birth and death and I don't know how often we really like give thought to that like what is life and I think a lot of times we think choices in terms of the big things but actually like, we make 40 to 60 thousand choices a day our brain automates the things we think and do the most so it's actually the little things that are way more important following through on the small things we say we're going to do are going to lead us to trust ourselves to follow through on the big things. Um, I don't know. I just really loved that quote. I thought it was kind of a good reminder and way to think about things. That's what I love about quotes too, is that they're just a great way to kind of remind yourself like what's important to be thoughtful in what you think. I don't know, what do you think about it? Do you have a favorite quote? 
I was thinking of coming on here live every day because this is how we can get adult interaction nowadays. Um, and like sharing a quote or a passage that I love. So let me know what you think. I'm actually just gonna be lazy today. Get my makeup, no, I'm not doing the eyes. This is like my biggest trick with makeup. I just use my contour and my shadow. I take, I'm using this Tropicana color, pull it into my eye look, and that's it. That's how I do like rush with makeup. Also, if you have an iPhone, I'm sure you can do this with Samsung's or other phones. I have a time limit set for my social media, so I can't be on there more than so long. And then I have a, um, not a time limit, limit, but like I have a time when my phone shuts off. Like I start losing, you can set what apps you want, but it will um, shut off past a certain time. And I can't use most of my apps after 8 p.m. So that hour, cause yes, I go to bed at nine. I go to bed early and get up early. And I try to make sure that last hour before I go to sleep, I'm off my phone. Although lately I've kind of not been so good at it. Anywho, I think my time limit's gonna be up here soon. It's gonna boot me off Instagram, whether I want it or not. So if I just disappear, that's what it is. That's it, guys. I'm done. I don't know how long that took me. I didn't time it, but that's like me on a normal basis. Also, Young Living. This is the best chapstick. It's really hydrating. And it's grapefruit, and it like actually tastes like a grapefruit. It's really good. Okay. So anyways, I really like wasn't even coming on here to share makeup. I just wanted to share that quote. I just thought, life is lived in the sea between B and D. And what was really interesting, he brought up the point, um, he had a near-death experience and he was talking about how most people have a near-life experience, like they nearly live life. Um, and I get that, because I didn't go back to work after having this baby, because I want to live life a certain way as a nomad, just being able to travel with my kids. Um, and it's a big, scary decision figuring out how to financially do that for me and be financially independent. Uh, but it's worth the struggle because the struggle is where you grow and if you stay safe You don't grow. It was really interesting. I heard Dave Hollis talking about this in an interview And it really like struck a chord with me when he went into a management position at Disney the last three years of his 20 years there It was when um, the Avengers was coming out and Star Wars. And he's like, I didn't have to work hard Those were just winners. He's like, so I didn't feel challenged. And he's like, I guess I was waiting for Disney to give me something hard so that I could grow, not realizing that like I had to go find something hard to make myself grow. Um, so I can be proud to say that like I'm, I've done that this year. I had no idea this was gonna happen, uh, but it's definitely making me put it off. I gave myself 15 more minutes. It's definitely making me grow. So I've been on here doing makeup, and it's like yeah, it's really easy to feel like I won't get judged because I feel a little silly sometimes. But I love watching it. So why am I feeling like silly doing it? And I'm thinking in my head that other people are gonna think I'm silly. And so it's crazy when you think about the things you stop yourself from, like this is the C between B and D. The choice to listen to your brain tell you that someone else is thinking negatively about you. And maybe people are, but are you gonna live your, really live your life that way? And I also like would go further in saying, that's your brain saying they'll say that. That doesn't mean they're actually gonna say that. Um, most people are super supportive and interesting and at least to my face, but that's all that matters. <laughs> and they can spend their time behind my back doing whatever. But um, I really super enjoyed it and I've super enjoyed being able to connect with people more in a positive space than at work. I feel like a lot of times at work, it's easy to connect with people over the drama and the issues and the negative stuff. And on here, we get to connect more on the fun and the beauty and the hardships of, like, especially parenting and homeschooling. Uh, 
and there's some, something more beautiful in that because that's the kind of bonding and connection that makes you grow. You're not going to grow from griping and complaining to each other about something. It's like that almost becomes an addiction in and of itself. And then that's why when you leave those jobs, you don't maintain those connections with those people because it wasn't really a connection in the first place. You were just like common enemy together. I don't know. So yeah, thanks for listening to this random ramble. Maybe I should name this random rambles and come on every day. Share a quote, share a passage, and randomly ramble while I'm getting ready. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Also, if you have a quote or passage you really love, send it my way. I just find those, like, in a moment, you have a choice. This is what meditation has done for me. It gives me, God, I'm trying to think who, I'm like a dog, squirrel, with my thoughts. Um, was talking about, maybe it was Tom Billy. who was he speaking with? <clears throat> um... When it comes to, it was with his interview with Dr. Judd about meditation and like this interspace between thoughts, it's just like a second. And that meditation has helped me catch that second between thoughts and I get to make the choice of like what kind of thought am I going to have. And when I'm in that interspace of that second, having a quick quote or passage to refer to helps me then to redirect to another thought. I don't have time to like go sit down and read a whole book or read a giant paragraph, but just like a quick bite-sized information that I can like rejog my brain. Like life is lived between the C between B and D. Um, another one that I really love is the tragedy of life is, is that we wait so long to actually live. It's not death, we wait so long to live. Like those bite-sized things, when I have that second of being like, I'm going downhill and being like, oh, I can choose a different thought. I can use that as like a, kick in the butt a motivation to reframe and move on so it's not like a denial or shutdown of how I'm feeling I totally acknowledge it and then just reframe because that which you resist persists but so yeah that's all I got I'm just on here because I'm avoiding my children at the moment actually I'm letting them have some tv time they get between 12 and 1 lunch and tv time and then we do a structured activity and then free play and I love having my kids home now. My weird one, but I do would appreciate being able to leave them home and go to Target by myself. Because that's like my favorite place on earth is Target. So they're watching TV. I'm up here hiding from them for the moment. It's like peaceful and quiet in here. Like the first time in a long time. If you have a favorite passage or quote, that motivates you, send it to me and I will come back with some random rambles for you. So, bye guys. <laughs>